Wesley Taylor, Product Manager for Automation, and I'm going to be talking about uh, automation misconceptions when it comes to workforce reduction. So for a worker, we look at automating of our equipment and part of the process of the mine, but for the worker it actually translates into them skilling into more management of the equipment versus necessarily completing mundane or repeatable tasks. Workers that operate on the equipment, instead of them doing every little action that the machine has to perform, they're going to be doing more of a management and planning role now, as well as monitoring the performance of the equipment and allowing for some adjustments based on the operational changes. So for you, change management is a very big process for the mine. So it's not just about potentially moving people out of the pits or automating equipment. It's about that change management of how your pit looks and operates as you go down an autonomous journey or a technology-driven journey, and making sure that we don't have any negative impacts to productivity, reliability, or safety. I like to say data drives decisions. So as we have our equipment broadcasting or, or providing data around KPIs, cycle times, productivity, that allows for technology and automation to be evaluated and those improvements be valued against the KPIs you already have for your equipment. We would really like to come to the table, work with you and your regional dealer to understand what KPIs you have and what, what uh, factors you're trying to aim for when it comes to automation or autonomous capability and understand those value drivers and the risks and walk through that change management process with you collectively and our dealer.